I have come to share with you the revelation of the 17th of February 2018, it was in a vigil prayer, and this vigil was organized uniquely for pastors, but I demanded to take part of this pastor vigil, in the night when we were worshipping the Lord and getting ready for prayer. The angel of light Lucifer disguise himself and came to visit me, he pretended to be the Lord Jesus Christ, I saw him standing on top of a huge mountain, and he was wearing a white robe, very quickly I saw that his behavior was strange, he was actually holding a little bottle on his hand, which he had opened and began to drink the content of the little bottle, I told him, if you are the Lord, can you show me your scars and injuries on the hand, for I could not see scars in his hands. When he showed me his hand I saw that he had no scars on the hands like the Lord Jesus Christ, for he was an imposter, I told him since you have no scars you are not the Lord Jesus Christ, when I spoke that way, he began to ready himself in order to attack me, and when he was about to attack me the Lord Jesus Christ manifested and the imposter disappear, the Lord told me, I have used Satan to try and test you, I wanted to see if you would allow him to seduce you. Even the devil himself did not know that I had used him. At that moment I saw huge angels of great size descending in the hall where we were in prayer vigil. They had huge wings. They were walking slowly moving all over the hall and observing us. Their faces were radiant with great light, and the Lord seemed happy to be among us. The Lord was seated on a golden chair observing us as we were praying. On the two edges of this chair there were several precious stone sculptures. It was wonderful. This chair was like a throne, the Lord was watching us without saying a word for he sat there for some time, finally he stood up and told me to follow him, when I followed the Lord he told me, it's by love that I bear these scars and injuries even today, I asked him, Lord what would happen to your children that keep the Roman Catholic calendar holidays and don't keep the Sabbath, the Lord replied, since the enemy has inspired his agent, the Roman Emperor Constantine to change my original calendar and come up with new calendar, that he has managed to impose upon Christian, so that they will ignore my calendar, many of my children that keep the Roman Catholic calendar are falling in hell every day, very few of those who keep that calendar are saved, I have saved many through fire because of failure to respect my calendar, which is one of my perpetual law, I have saved by my grace some of my children that keep the Roman Catholic calendar because they walk in my fear and obedience in my word, they are saved from hell though they keep Roman Catholic calendar, but they are saved narrowly, still many more Christians land in hell every day because of failure to respect my calendar and keep the Sabbath, instead of respecting the Sabbath that I have instituted in my honor, you people respect a foreign calendar of a pagan Roman emperor, while I am waiting for you in my temple on the day of Sabbath, you are busy in your multiple occupation. Where do you expect to go on the day of your death on the earth, you are for this purpose considered as rebellious children, I advise you to stop keeping the Roman Catholic calendar, for I don't grant my grace to all in the same way, if I save some Christian that keep the pagan calendar of the Roman Emperor, it does not mean that I will save all, I deprive some of my grace, for fear that they would tread on it, it's then the Lord began to show me the consequence of failing to keep his calendar how people failed in hell, I said Lord show me one person that fail in hell because of failure to keep your calendar and the, the Sabbath, it's not that I don't believe your word, I am just asking in order to tell the people of the world, the Lord said I know, follow me, I followed the Lord and we walk on a very dark way, we did not walk for a long time and quickly we reach our destination, the Lord covered me with his light, we arrive in this place in hell, that it was filled with countless souls, that were piled up and superimposed, the only light that enable me to see these souls were the light of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I saw a damned soul that caught my attention, this lost soul called me and said, young lady, I was a pastor of a Presbyterian church, the name of the church is the glory of the resurrected, I had heard of the Sabbath and the feasts of the Lord, but I kept saying it is the old covenant, the Lord has cancelled all that on the cross, and I preached that to the member of the church where I was a leader, one day, a member of my church was invited to a cell group, where they were preaching on the Sabbath, and he was taught about the calendar of God, and the necessity to observe it, for fear of landing in hell, when he came back in my assembly, 
he told me about what he has received as a teaching there, but I rejected whatever he heard in that cell group, when I oppose him he was scandalized by my attitude, to the point where he began to cool down gradually, up to a point where he has left my church definitively. He remained for some time at home, without attending any church, then one day he decided to join the cell group where he was taught about the Sabbath and the Feast of the Lord. Few days later I died and landed in this place of torment, it is written, I am the Lord your God, follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Keep my Sabbaths holy, that they may be a sign between us. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God, brother, in this section where souls are the saint that have failed to obey the observance of the calendar and feast of the Lord, these souls were miserable in this place of absolute darkness, where demon came to torment them. Demons stick long iron bars in the ears that enter one side of the ear coming out the other side, demons shook this iron bar before removing it, and they told these souls. You didn't want to hear the true instruction of the just man, but you wanted to do things that please you, demon pierced their heart with arrows, I said Lord please get me out of here, it is written, you shall keep the feast of harvest, of the first fruits of your labor, of what you sow in the field. You shall keep the feast of ingathering at the end of the year, when you gather in from the field the fruit of your labor. 